Hey guys, Dr. Sean here, and I want to talk this time about what I travel with in my suitcase. Okay, ever get food poisoning where you're puking your guts out and have diarrhea and are miserable? I'm going to tell you what to do about that and how you, what you need to do and always have when you travel so that you can deal with that scenario. Nobody else has dealt with that, but Dr. Sean, I'm an ER physician. Okay, so I know how to deal with that. I'm going to tell you how to deal with it. So the inspiration for this is I have learned over my 60 years what I need to travel with in the past 13 years as a health optimizing physician, what you need to travel with to make sure you stay half healthy when you travel. Okay, so great content. Stick with it. And right away up front, I'm going to give you this list so we don't forget to cover that. Here it is, okay? So you can take a screenshot of that and you can blow it up, okay? Because it's going to be a little bit small. Take a screenshot and then blow it up. And here is the bottom half of that list. So quite a few things to cover, but let's get things going so we can do that. Okay, back to this screen in case somebody jumps in this and sees what we're doing. All right, so first of all, in my, my little shave kit, uh, if I'm traveling light and I just have a carry-on bag and I got a shave kit, um, I'm going to carry some basic toiletries, okay? So one thing I want to carry is um, in that is Redmond's Real Salt. I want to make sure you got some salt. I like Redmond's Real Salt when you travel. And uh, I carry um, a Fuchs, F-U-C-H-S, F-U-C-H-S natural toothbrush. It's made from natural boar bristles, okay? It's the only toothbrush out there that's made from basically animal fibers instead of nylon. Animal is much healthier, has better microbial uh, surface area. Instead of using nylon, which carries more pathogens, you want to use the Fuchs toothbrush when you travel. And then I like Miswaks, okay? Natural Miswak, M-I-S-W-A-K. Uh, I travel those to brush my teeth. Uh, love it, and it's a really awesome thing, so you can use that. Uh, for my toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, I like... Uh, um, Dr. Bronner's apple cider vinegar pep, <laughs> Dr. Bronner's apple cider vinegar, Dr. Bronner's uh, natural soap, okay, Castile soap, peppermint. It's great to brush your teeth with. And so I carry that with me when I travel. And, um, and then I carry with me uh, because uh, Dr. Sean uh, got um, Invisalign finally at the end, <laughs> kind of not the end of my life, but relatively later in my life, I got Invisalign, those things that straighten out your your teeth, because I don't know why I maybe had some bad ancestors. So um, I like to travel with an extra Invisalign, right? Because if you lose the one that you travel with, you got a backup. So I bought an extra one and I keep it with me when I travel. So I don't have to worry about losing one. So it's an awesome idea to uh, for you to travel with that. And um, on that, I make sure I travel with some Efferdent or Polydent or some kind of a uh, cleanser so I keep my teeth, my, my Invisalign uh, nice and clean, okay? And by the way, I wear my Invisalign. They recommend wearing it at nighttime. I don't wear it at nighttime. I wear it during the day. I take it out um, multiple times, keep my mouth nice and clean because it's plastic. It's a nidus for infection. And I have noticed that it introduced snoring. I should say my wife noticed it introduced snoring uh, into my nighttime sleep habits, okay? So I don't wear it at nighttime. And, um, and I'm no longer snoring. So uh, Invisalign is a great thing to have. And um, the other thing I like to travel is earplugs, okay? Because occasionally I end up, I was recently at Texas A&M, and they had a train going through there next to that hotel. So having some earplugs, keep them in there in case you got noisy neighbors or a train or something, an elevator, bring earplugs so you keep that nice, nice and quiet. And then uh, I like to travel with my magnesium and potassium uh, and uh, along with my electrolytes. So I keep a bag of that stuff uh, with me uh, when I travel. And then uh, in it, I also like to bring silverware. Okay, I bring wooden silverware. Uh, they're basically, it's a spoon, knife, and fork made out of wood and I travel. And then if I've got some food or something, I don't have to use uh, plastic. I got into my nice organic uh, wood uh, to use. And, um, and then let me cover right away. I'll just get into it. Uh, the other thing I keep in my, um, in my travel kit 
in case you got vomiting and diarrhea from uh, food poisoning, it's, it's toxins, endotoxins get released from that bacteria. So uh, the way you want to treat that is bind up those toxins. Okay, so activated charcoal, activated charcoal. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a bag of it. You may want to get a bottle that's a little more secure uh, in case it opens up because this stuff opens up black powder <laughs> everywhere and you're not going to get it out of your clothes very easily. You might as well just throw it away. So get in a bottle and protect it so you have that. And uh, that activated charcoal will bind up those toxins and stop you having vomiting diarrhea because if you get a, a good case of uh, food poisoning, you just want to die. It's a miserable thing. And so I do, I, I back up. So I'm an MD. I don't like using any medicine because I'm, I'm really a health and performance optimized physician and just use all natural strategies, except when it's an emergency, it's time for a physician to take care of you, okay, and not natural strategies. So heart attack, stroke, a motor vehicle accident, trauma, and bad food poisoning, okay? You can try some ginger, but I carry some Zofran, some Zofran oil dissolving tablets. You can ask your primary care doctor to prescribe you some to have in the event that you get norovirus or vomiting, diarrhea, you're gonna love having a little bit of this in your bag. So yeah, even though I really hate medications, I do keep this one with me. Ask your doctor, if he or she is a good doctor, they should be able to prescribe that for you. So, all right, so that's a, another little tip. And by the way, you can get a little, uh, little tiny jar to keep everything I'm talking about. If you, uh, it's too big, you can make it smaller, put it in baby food jars. So I keep that in there. That includes um, the activated charcoal if you want. All right, so another thing to, um, to talk about is when I travel, I like to have a pink, sim, pink, pink Himalayan salt like candle, okay? It's a chunk, it's, a, it's, a, it's basically a candle holder, and I take a uh, beeswax and I drop it in there, and at nighttime, I turn off those lights in that hotel room, and I got a little campfire, <laughs> and that campfire is awesome, okay? All the lights are off, that little campfire, it's a little trickle of that light, and all I have to do is look up at that ceiling, those little flickers, and I go out. Now, this thing doesn't last very long, so, uh, and this is solid rock. So yeah, look, if you're a fire marshal, you're probably not a big fan of, uh, uh, of me right now, but this, I've been doing this every night for uh, probably three years and it's, it's an awesome, safe thing to, to try out. So, um, you just gotta make sure cause there's an open flame. You got nothing around it that's going to fall in. Okay. So, but this is what I, I like to do when I sleep. And, um, and then another thing I like to do is I bring pink Himalayan salt like light bulbs, okay? So those pink Himalayan salt lamp bulbs, by the way, everything I'm gonna show you, I have no financial interest, but you, most of this stuff you can get off Amazon. So I like these little light bulbs and um, um, I bring these two with me. And then when I get to my hotel room, I take out the junky ones, okay? Oftentimes they're LED and uh, too bright, the Kelvin lights. So I put these things in there and I take those junky light bulbs and I put them in my sink. Uh, right at my sink. So when I'm unpacking or packing up again, um, I can remember that I put my good ones in those lamps so I don't forget them because these things are a little expensive, seven bucks each. So um, these things, will uh, put them on at nighttime. I turn all the lights off. I got my little pink candle and I say, well, a candle and I got my pink candle. It's a glow light. It's like a little cave in there. Boy, do I sleep good. You should be awesome when you travel. So these little tips will help you out. Do that. All right. So another thing I like to do when I travel is um, I like to make my own coffee. So I brought it, I, I keep these little tiny uh, coffee pots. They're just little tiny ones, basically like two cups. Listen, do not be buying uh, non-organic coffee. You spend a lot of money on that stuff and I can make my own better coffee. So I travel a little tiny coffee pot and you can too get one of those things. And uh, they're awesome to have. And if you're going to bring a little coffee pot, of course, you got to bring your own organic coffee. This is the coffee I get off Amazon. It's extremely highly rated. It's organic. It's delicious. It's organic. And I travel with it. Uh, so I, I'm not buying expensive coffee that is going to be damaging my microbiome. And uh, when I travel, um, because I'm bringing those beans, I bring a coffee grinder too. Now, um, now, if you if you think, oh, dear God, uh, Sean is bringing a lot of stuff here. I live well, and I like coffee. 
and I travel with that and I'm drinking good healthy coffee. So if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Um, now, the other thing um, I do when I, when I uh, uh, travel is um, I bring a, uh, an infuser, a little tiny infuser, central oil infuser. So I got um, my beeswax candle burning. I got this beautiful euca eucalyptus uh, essential oil infuser. You get these cheap off uh, uh, Amazon as well. It's a wonderful thing to have. And, um, and then I like to travel with my moccasins, okay? Because I like to sprint in moccasins. Uh, they're single layer, uh, animal, uh, animal skin, perfect, just like ancestors, uh, used for hundreds of thousands of years. So that's what uh, I go out and sprint in the parking lot and or the hotel conferences, uh, conference rooms when, uh, when I travel. Another thing I bring is I do not drink out of paper cups or plastic cups. I bring a coffee mug. So uh, get, get a coffee mug, put it in, in your uh, suitcase when you travel. It's an awesome thing to have. It's great to, to drink out instead of that stupid, you know, plastic or paper cups with all those chemicals um, that line those those residues. So um, another thing I like to travel is a natural dental floss with tea tree oil and not some kind of uh, petroleum based um, um, product. I travel. Uh, sometimes I'll take a coffee pot. So if you don't want to bring an electronic coffee pot, I bring a press pot. I'm sorry, not a coffee pot, a press pot. So you can get those pretty cheap. They're only not, 20 bucks off Amazon and they're smaller and you can make a nice fresh uh, cup of coffee uh, with that. Another thing I like to bring is plastic bottles, okay? You could bring a glass bottle if you want to bring a glass bottle, uh, that's fine. Um, but when I travel, I travel pretty cool places and I go to glaciers, I go to springs and uh, I go to oceans and I bring back those, those natural water, uh, the natural water from the sources with me uh, and uh, and I use it to put it on my body. Um, those microbes from that water get in your hair and uh, uh, they're awesome to get on your body, give you a nice smell and they'll cure and prevent dandruff. So it's an awesome thing. And guess what you get when you travel? I, I used to get this until I figured it out. I never get dandruff, but boy, if I travel and I put my, my head on that one of those pillows and somebody put their funky head on their pillow before me, hmm. I can get dandruff from that thing. So um, I, I always rinse with some natural water. And for that reason, um, I bring my own pillow. <laughs> so you can bring, bring your own pillow with you, put it in. That thing compresses nice and tight in your suitcase. And then I'm not putting my hair, my head with my hair going down in there where all these funky people have put their heads too. So my pillow on my head. Okay. So a little tip for you to, to do that. And um, another thing I like to do um, when I travel is make sure you bring co brown coffee filters for your, your coffee pot. And a couple of things I like to bring is organic apple cider vinegar and coconut oil. So these are antimicrobial, put them in my feet. I use a natural uh, deodorant and uh, I get sunburn, uh, I get any kind of infection. I use it as aftershave. Uh, it's just awesome stuff to put all over in your strategic lo locations, axilla, groin, uh, on your face, it's wonderful aftershave and on your feet so you don't have nasty, smelly, funky feet. So um, those are awesome things to have. And then I like to travel with a uh, uh, with ferments, okay? So I bring one of these little insulated lunch pouches and um, I put in insulated lunch packs uh, some ferments, okay? So I put it in. These will be fine for your travel while you're in an airplane. I like the organic um uh, fermented ginger uh, carrots, and I have fermented hot sauce, um, and I have uh, fermented kimchi, and I put that in my little ferment container, and I put it in my suitcase, um, and then I put uh, put a little cold pack, freezer pack in there, and that keeps it for the airplane ride, and then when I'm coming back, so I always have ferments. I never eat meat without the addition of really wonderful uh, microbes from fermented food, so that's how I travel with it. All right. Well, I think that will cover uh, those tips. The only other thing I'd say is, uh, you know, Dr. Sean's got uh, an old as heck suitcase. Yeah. I was going to, I was trying to, I was like looking for my wife. She travels for a little bit nicer suitcase. I thought, well, maybe I'll get, I said, no, who cares? I travel like this. I have an old suitcase. Yeah. Because I spend my money on grass fed beef and more important, you know, good, healthy fermented foods and stuff. So who cares? I'm not buying any to me fancy pants. 
uh, suitcases. I travel, uh, I travel reasonable. All right, so um, I hope you appreciate. Oh, one other couple of the things I forgot to tell you about are uh, when I'm in that airplane, I like to have little, th this, these things are great. These little movable things for your cell phone. You uh, put your, your, uh, your cell phone on these stands and, uh, and then on the airplane, and then you have a little wireless keyboard and then it's like a little mini computer. Uh, I love those things. A colleague taught me about those things. So when I'm on that airplane, I, I got my little mini computer with my cell phone on the little thing. So uh, anyway, those, those are my tips for traveling. I hope you like it. Uh, I hope, hopefully you got that screenshot. And by the way, give some comments. If you got some awesome stuff I'd like to know about, okay? Stuff especially that makes you more healthy and protects you add it and in a comment and uh, please contribute. I love getting comments. If you like this video and you like this content, then give it a like and consider sharing to other people. And uh, as always, uh, I'm looking for really motivated people to study, to help figure out the best ways to optimize human beings. So if you're somebody who respects your body as your most important physical asset, you can go to my website and consider working with us. We're now, uh, a startup, and uh, we'd love to consider uh, bringing in other super motivated people to understand their body is their most important physical asset. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for staying to the end of this video and appreciate it and appreciate all your uh, comments and uh, all the subscribers and followers I got on social media. Okay. Dr. Sean out. Shh.